Attention, the following video is going to totally kick ass. If you enjoy any of it and or have a large p- what Please the fuck? the sub and like button down below. Enjoy. Shut the fuck up for the Master 69 you do to idiot. Nice. Hey, what's up, YouTube? SH4 here, and today I'll be reacting to a new SMG4 video called SMG4 Theory is Mario Dead. Wait a minute, an SMG4 Theory? Wait, wait a minute, there's a channel called the SMG4 Theorist. Are they actually. Did they actually know uh, the SMG4 theorist? A theorist? Who knows? The SMG4 theorist uh, people must be proud of that. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the reaction video. Watch the original video first. Subscribe to SMG4. Subscribe to my channel down below. Hit that like button. Ring that bell notification. And without further ado, we're going to get started. Three, three, two, one. Let's go. Ah, what the heck? Oh, yo, these are moments when Mario died. Mario dies a lot in the SMG for show, eh? I mean, it's to the point where they're Oh, it's a mad path. Oh, wow, he's doing a mad path the uh, comes back theory like that. Like a mad path theory. Let me ask you a question, folks. Mad path style. That Mario might actually be dead. Well, he's not. He's right there. Totally live. All good. No questions about it. Case closed. But wait a second. What Bro. What is going on here then at first glance? Ladies and gentlemen, let's dive a little deeper. Hello, Internet. Welcome, Welcome to, to SMG4 Theory. Theory. A silly little idea where we discuss my silly little meme show. So let's get silly and talk about death. Bro. What's with this guy, huh? He sure does die a lot. Both in this show and in Nintendo games. He dies in many, many different ways. Getting poked by Goombas, getting stabbed, getting sucked into black holes, uh, like this. You get the idea. Yet, even after so many deaths, he always comes back. So, what's the deal? Is I he always come Is he back. He's some kind of weed psychopath who likes to die. Well, in the main games, he always screams like a maniac when dying. <laughs> <laughs> He considers death an afternoon stroll. But what about an SMG4? Well, in Mario breaks the McDonald's ice cream machine. He holds his breath because he can't have ice cream. Dumb idiot. But this does prove that he can feel death and experience death. So it's not like he's doing it because he enjoys it. For the most part. But let's get serious for a moment. This does raise some questions about Mario. How does he keep coming back? What's up with this one-up counter he always has? Is that his life force or is it souls that he consumes from other people? Something weird's going on. And for that matter, where does Mario go when he falls off the side of the world in Mario games? An alternate dimension? And it's filled with hundreds of Mario corpses? And also, also, why does Mario have nipples in Super Mario Odyssey, huh? A lot of strange occurrences happening, folks. And have you considered... I go on like this for a while. Let's speed this up. In the SMG4 lore, which you should totally watch by the way, Mario's the avatar of our universe. No, not that avatar. Essentially, he's the anchor of this universe. Here's a little comparison for all you nerds out there. Ever seen the little oh, yeah. of Deadpool and Wolverine? Well, they totally copied us. In that movie, if the anchor being dies, the universe dies. Which we did first, by the way. So stop copying us, Marvel. <clears throat> so oh, yeah, they, they did do that uh, first. If Mario's been kicking the bucket all this time, how come I'm still here? How come this world's still here? Is it a retcon? Is every episode a dream? Am I a dream? Am I even real? Okay, existential crisis aside, this logic also raises another question. Did this world exist before Mario was born? Or has Mario been here since the beginning of time? Well, in the game Yoshi's Island, we see Baby yeah, Mario. Yeah, Yoshi's Baby Island. Mario has also appeared in SMG4 <laughs> before. So we can rule out the possibility of Mario being some immortal god. Sorry, Mario. Now, I know what you're thinking. Uh, if Mario isn't immortal, then how come the SMG4 episode Super Caveman Bros exists? Well, if you haven't seen that episode, which you should totally watch, by the way, Toad and I get sent way back before Mario was even born. Which Jeez. To this. Ah, <laughs> uh, not this, not this. Cut, cut, cut. This is that the is weird. version of Mario, and the world's still intact. This means Mario is a part of a long heritage of fat red Italian plumbers that go, oh. 
He's just like the Avatar. You might think this is a bit far-fetched. Well, need more evidence? Well, if you go to this exact coordinate on Google Maps, you can find Mario. Looks normal, right? Well, if you go huh. back in time. Yeah, it's rewind time. It's still there. Whoa. There. In 2009, it was a different Mario. So there are different Mario's and different avatars. But wait, there's a problem here. In the SMG4 show, every time Mario dies, he comes back as the exact copy-pasted dumbass Mario. No differences in appearance or personality. How is this possible? Are they clones? Is Mario coming back to life? Are we pulling an MCU and doing multiverse sh**? Well, let's explore some options. Bruh. There has to be some way Mario keeps worming his way back into the show. I know what you're thinking. One-ups? The double cherry power-up? Modern medicine? <laughs> Wrong. You really think Nintendo, one of the most successful companies in the world, isn't doing some shady deals? Something darker is hidden underneath it all. But what? Did Mario strike a deal with the devil? Maybe there's a hidden demon somewhere huh? in the Mario world. What? No. Okay, on the surface level, it doesn't seem like there's any demons in a series like Mario. Really, the only real mention of any form of god comes from the Mario RPG games. And even though we have some gods and demons in SMG4 land, eh, none of them would ever grant someone like Mario immortality. But we're on the right track. Mm. All these points connect to the actual answer. Religion. That's right. We're playing a bit of Super Mario religion What? Here. Religion? Luigi. We all know Luigi. Sure, he's Mario's bro, but... Why does he spend his time sucking ghosts all day, huh? How is he able sucky, to do sucky, sucky. rules while Mario falls victim? Okay, maybe that isn't too shocking, but this does lead to a shocking conclusion. Luigi is evil and working with the ghosts. Don't believe me? I have proof. Ever heard of these? These boards use demonic possession to talk oh, to the Oh, hell no! Nah. unrelated, but I've asked a data analyst expert to give us the proper pronunciation of this word. Ouija. <gasps> oh, oh clever! Named after Satan himself, Luigi. View for yourself this incriminating footage of Luigi getting possessed before the Nintendo ninjas take it down. Now at this point, you might be asking yourself, how does this relate to Mario? Think about it. Luigi's the shy, timid brother, while Mario's the outgoing, adventurous brother. They're two sides of a coin, yin and yang. So if Luigi is a demon, then Mario has to be Jesus. Uh, okay, maybe he's not Jesus, but there is evidence to suggest a connection between Mario and Jesus in SMG4. If you watch Stupid Mario, oh, Jeez. Okay, pause at this exact frame. You'll notice something or someone very suspicious in the background. Enhance! You may notice a man dressed in white. That is Jesus! Oh, wow. And this isn't the only time we see them together. Why does he remind back, me of Nick Red Mario Games a little? In the afterlife. Jesus rose from the dead, so maybe he taught Mario how to resurrect. Mario and Jesus do seem to get along pretty well. And for that matter, in the meme games, we see Mario T-posing. And who also T-posing, <laughs> huh? That's right. Jesus. Yep. And that's not all. In the very first Mario reacts to Nintendo memes, Mario rises into the frame, just like Jesus rose from the dead. I'm thinking I'm back. Mario is Jesus. Not. Mario is 100% connected to the Bible, and not just in the SMG4 universe, but in the games too. According to Revelations 1.16, and he, Jesus, had in his right hand seven stars. Oh, I'm seven sorry. stars. Which seven stars. That's right. Super Mario RPG Legend. Or Super Seven or Paper Star. Mario. That's not the only reference. To the, the Thousand Mario. Year in Door. Super Mario 64, we see Mario flying around what looks to be heaven. Mario also teams up with an angel in Super Smash Brothers Brawl. But what? the most damning piece of evidence, folks, is this painting right here, The Last Supper. What you might not know is this painting is not completely finished. But now with modern technology, we can finally see Da Vinci's fully finished painting. Enhance again. Are you serious? Not one wow! All of this That's all disrespectful for that picture. That Mario has the same resurrection powers as Jesus. But is it possible that there's more to this story? Let's take a look at some hard facts. We know Jesus was born on a farm. I think. I don't know. I haven't read the book yet. But you know who else loves farms? Nintendo. This connection is too important to ignore. We call the September 13th Nintendo Direct from 2022. Gee, there show are a lot of farming simulators around here. <laughs> Coincidence? Of course I not. I think it was not. All planned. All those memes and jokes about Nintendo loving farms, it was all orchestrated by Jesus and the Big N. Don't believe me? Well, I snuck into the hideout and managed to leak this. What? Uh, <laughs> wrong leak. Aha, there! This signed document. This proves Nintendo and Jesus struck a deal, and this deal has been going on for decades. Take a look at all these collabs Nintendo and Jesus have done over the years. Bible Adventures on the NES, Super Noah's Ark 3D on the SNES, the Bubble Game on Game Boy Advance, Jesus appearing in Mario and Sonic, the Splatoon Church game, the official epic rap battle between Mario and Jesus, the list goes on. 
These Jeez. two have been collabing for years, and I already know what you're about to say. Why would Nintendo go to such lengths to work with Jesus? Ladies and gentlemen, get your tin foil hats. This partnership is only the beginning. It's time to dive deeper. Oh Clearly, boy! Nintendo's hiding something here, something they don't want us to know about, and it all comes back to Mario. Nintendo wants us to think Mario's super awesome. Well, I'm not buying it. He's been arrested before in Super Mario Sunshine. But did you know this Jeez. isn't the only time he's been arrested? He's also been arrested for trying to break into someone's house. But wait, there's more. He kills Yoshi, committed assault, tax fraud, participates in illegal gambling, stolen livers, pirated games, been on a hit and run, committed literal war crimes. Starting to second guess how cool this guy is? Well, this is only the tip of the iceberg. These crimes extend outside of the games and SMG4. Check out oh this footage boy. of Mario interacting with an innocent bystander. I love you, Sonic! And how do you think Mario handled the situation? He beat the guy up! Yeesh! Awful. And what happens after that? He gets arrested and it's shared on the news. The detainees include those dressed up as Minnie Mouse and even Super Mario. And you might be asking, have never seen such highly classified info? The same reason why Mario gets away with all of his crimes. Nintendo's legal team, a bunch of dumb gorilla lawyers. In fact, that dummy created a wall to keep everything all kid friendly so they wouldn't get in trouble. Those damn gorilla lawyers. And believe it or not, that's not even Nintendo's most lethal force. But they only pulled in for things like piracy. Uh oh! That's right, the infamous Nintendo ninjas. They're not a myth, and they're no joke. Look at this very real security camera footage of Nintendo Ninjas jumping upon a Nintendo fan. Ouch! And let's not forget that Nintendo Ninjas destroyed my computer. Those a** destroyed my property. All I did was pirate a couple of games. All these years, we've been spoon-fed lies by Nintendo being this happy company that is for kids, when in reality, they're the shadiest of them all, and they'll do anything to cover up their crimes. Oh, Mario's gonna do something pretty illegal. Uh-oh. Alright, I know I've shown you a lot of earth-shattering evidence today, but let's review the facts. Nintendo has this omnipotent red Italian, Luigi is Satan, they made a business partnership with Jesus, they have a million soul goodmans and an army of ninjas, and Mario keeps committing crimes time and time again with no yep. repercussions. What does it all mean? What is this leading up to? I'll tell you. But you're not gonna like it. What I'm telling you is top secret, and I'm not just being overly dramatic, but I've uncovered the biggest scam in human history. What's that? Nintendo is actually a cult. A cult? The heck? And you are all falling into that trap. Look at this follower shattering the gospel of Mario. And that's not all. It's spreading into media, video games, movies, TV shows, toys, even cereal. All of these are intentionally designed around making you feel nostalgic, so you'll love Mario too. Look at how excited Nintendo followers are getting over a skeleton, the symbol of death. It's the sign of the end times. And you might be asking, how can Nintendo get away with all of this? Two words, Papa John's. In an interview, Papa John said the following. Stay tuned, the day of reckoning will come. But what does this mean? What does this have to do with Nintendo and Jesus? I'll tell you. Papa John's is a promoter of Nintendo products. They're in on it. And even oh, before wow. then, there was this. They were giving away Nintendo Wii's to customers. They were spreading the gospel of Nintendo this entire time. Which means... Enhance. Enhance. Just as I thought. This was a three-way partnership. Jeez. Think about it. In the SMG4 episode, Mario runs out of toilet paper. Papa John reveals his true form. Satan. Oh, what's that? We already confirmed earlier that Luigi's Satan? Well, open your eyes. That can only mean one thing. Oh! Don't you see? Papa John was really Papa Luigi this entire time. It's all connected. Papa John sold his soul to Nintendo, Shh. and they merged. Now they're helping promote Nintendo. Gosh to rule the world. Don't you see? The day of reckoning has come. Mario's already taken to the streets, causing chaos and starting rallies left and right. He's converting innocent bystanders over to his side. Not even pets are safe. Look at this footage of followers gathering for their beloved idol Aren't they you? love so much. Oh my god. I'm wow. It's fallen. Mario and Nation. No, Nintendo has their sights set on something much bigger. They're taking over the biggest event in the world, the Olympics! Listen to that crowd, how those followers cheer for the almighty Mario to return to them. Now with all these indisputable facts, one final question remains. Is Mario dead? No. Oh, really? Is he dead? I'm asking you, I kind of lost track where I was going with all of this. Is he dead? Am I dead? Let me check my pulse. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's right, I'm dead. Ah! Bye, SMG4.
Oh my god, it's Jesus! I heard you were talking shit about me. <laughs> wow. Oh man. I thought I was really onto something with that. But hey, that's just a theory. And that's an for theory. Idiot. So SMG4 theory, huh? Well, that that actually exists. Aww, look at the look at SMG4 and, his, and the Karen's kids. Nice fan art. But oof. When are we gonna get back to Mr. Puzzles and Marty? Are we gonna get Wafi soon? Uh, who knows? Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the reaction video of SMG4 theory. Is Mario dead? I'll see you later. Peace. Stay healthy for the win, and that's just a theory, an SMG4 theory.